All right, so stepping up to the plate, we got our boy Stu, TO of this tournament. Shout out to him. He's going to be fighting that Ignis Fox, that Toon Link you guys saw earlier. Alright, the rock, paper, scissoring for the first. Do some stage bands here. Now I just want to see. All right, bring him to town and say that's not too bad. I just hate seeing people bring uh, two links to the battlefield. <laughs> All right, so here we go. Uh, Toon Link is a matchup I had to learn a lot recently. It's just a really difficult matchup, and I do adjust. But it, a lot of them have really good follow-ups after their bombs. Yeah, this is this is one of the matches I was talking about in that losers bracket. We got the the nice little Shark Tank going on. All of these, you're gonna see Alex Cheese, Nave, Ignis Fox, and Stu all competing for one measly um, spot and I think the winner of the, yeah, the winner of this gets top eight so All right Ignis Fox doing some work slowly whittling away and whittling away at Stu stock so he's in kill percent. Now he's gonna start looking for those options. Oh, what's going on, man? What's up, man? How much? Alright, so here we have Ignis versus Stu. And I believe they played before, I believe, at Capital. Oh, really? So they're pretty familiar oh, okay. with each other. I didn't know that. Um, this is my first time seeing Ignis Fox play, and he's... Oh, he's, he's, he's amazing. He's a threat. I don't know if, you, if you're if you seeing this, oh, I this loser's bracket right here. We got all these guys competing for one spot. This is for top 8 qualifiers? Oh, no, yeah, this is for... This, this match right here is top 8 qualifiers. And this is all competing right here. Ooh, looking like a scary top eight. Well, there they we do have. make it to top eight. But here we have Corn versus Toon Link matchup. I'd say Toon Link has the um, advantage here just for the simple fact that Corn's neutral B has no priority. Oh yeah. And considering Toon Link is like a you know keep away character with many projectiles, he likes to keep you away you know with bombs. He has all his little fancy setups like we just saw right there. Oh definitely, and, and you know, Corn is like a. Oh, is almost a spacing character. He's, you know, he's got to look for his openings, and then Toon Link is completely outspacing. Just that was a perfect. All right, <laughs> from Ignis. Ignis taking game one over Stu. All right. Now the thing here is Corin definitely with the back air spacing is ridiculous. Oh yeah, I love the movement of that back air. It's just so elegant looking. And we have Stu switching to the. Waifu Lucina, or female Marth, from Dragon Marth to female Marth. Now this matchup, I really do feel like Team Link wins this, cause Lucina doesn't have range. All right. So we have English starting off with the crazy up B, and of course the bread and butter Team Link up tilt. Now, Sue seems to be doing way better with the Lucina than the Corn, if you ask me. Oh, yeah. I, th I think it's just day one main, so he's a lot more confident with this character. Oh, the thing is, um, also, Ignis has actually been playing Toon Link since Brawl. Oh, really? That's a fact. All right. He's a Brawl veteran. 
he's, he's played in a lot of uh, locals. He's he um he's gone to Wallingford before, to Underworld Games. You know, okay. But you guys are sponsored by today. It's pretty cool. Shout out to them. He hasn't been going recently, has he? I haven't I haven't been seeing no, him there. Not a lot. I, we've gone like at least together like as a team base. Not oh, really, you still like, go too? Yeah. It's just I have no transportation. I'd probably oh, okay. have to take a train. I don't think there's a bus line that goes. Uh, I don't. I don't think so either. So Ingles is uh, no stranger to the Lucina matchup either. Because I myself like to play Lucina for fun sometimes, and uh, it doesn't work. <laughs> All right, Ingles taking that first stock. That's a pretty strong forward match, if you ask me. It's kind of ridiculous sometimes, considering it scoops you up if you don't tech either. All right, so we got two looking for the edge guard opportunity missing. That's still the boomerang. All right. <laughs> yeah, Toon Link has pretty ridiculous setup sometimes. Like, you might not expect things. You'd be like, what, that worked? And yeah, I feel like Toon Links are some of the most creative players. Like, they, like, like they, they can make anything off of the smallest hit. Definitely. Their, their item game has to be on point, in my opinion. It's just like, if if Ignis were to face a Diddy, I feel like he would do good because it's like, you win with banana. And Ignis would be an unfortunate oh, ST there. I don't know what he was thinking. Happen. So he was almost ripe for an, uh, a stock to be taken away from him anyway, so it's not, not really too much being missed. He's got plenty of extra credit going for him. I'm surprised he didn't either have a bomb, but you know, we have a 54% deficit. Never mind, grab that. <laughs> well, Ingus definitely with the upper hand right here. This is a best of three set, so uh, you know, Ingus one stock away from stealing the top eight. Loser side. And we got a sick forward hitter coming out. Right. Lucina at kill percent by one of the two Link's ridiculous setups. Still going for the edge guard. Oh. Ignis definitely playing how he usually does. Oh, oh yeah. Nice oh, oh. smash coming up from two with a nice get up read. I'm like speechless trying to watch this. There's just so much happening at once. There is. That's just, just a two-link thing. just need to worry about the bomb. And Stu get a nice forward. And Austin's going for the edge guard. Gets the forward. All right. Forward is going to take it. Stu is not going down without a fight. <laughs> Stu forcing game three here in losers round four, qualifier for top eight. Uh, question is, Ignis has a lot of characters up his arsenal, so will he be pulling a switch? I don't think he, he needs really to. He's he he doing really nice with that toon lane. I feel like he should say toon lane. I don't think he should switch. It would not be smart coming from him. And he's pulling out his, his low tier waifu. That's actually... <laughs> <laughs> Cynthia. <laughs> Cynthia! So... Get your, get your Mario Top 5 out of here! Get out of here! Alright, good luck in your next match! <laughs> Alright, so we got Game 3 here coming out. Loser, these guys are both competing for Top 8 right here. Some scary shit, dude. That's a nice Palutena skin. Oh yeah, Cynthia? Yeah. Yeah, repping Cynthia. It's been a while since I've seen a genuinely good Palutena. I know there's one around here. He goes to Yukon. Um, Artisan. I, I I ran into him before at Ascendance. He's pretty good. Other than that, <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen a Palutena other than like friendlies playing her. Yeah. But anyway, the the character mix up from 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 Agnes Fox here. It looks like Stu downloaded his tune link pretty well at last game. Yeah, I wasn't watching, but I knew Stu can adapt pretty well. I'm going for the air dodge read and misspacing it. That that up air is gonna be oh, yeah. crazy good. That Palutena up there up air is really. We saw strong. Zero get knocked out of CEO 2016 with that. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah get knocked into losers. Drowning fools with that move. I mean the character has some solid uh, mix ups and solid recovery. Really? Yeah. Ooh. There we go. One of the weak counters, weakest counters though. He's gonna need to look for that. Be really careful with that up air. Yeah, that up air is so strong. It's a little stale now, but... He just needs to use the force. <laughs> He's on off stage. Ooh, Ooh! A nice snap there for some reason. Bringing it to an even game. Things are looking really good for our boy Stu here. Damn. Good string. Hit him with that. Let's go, Stu. 
Oh my god, my heart is racing for these two. It's so crazy. These, these are such good players, and whoever loses isn't even in top eight. Yeah, it's rough. Dude, this, this losers is insane. You know, our, our boy Stu being knocked out round one in winners. Yeah. Fighting his way all the way here. He's going the distance, as Cake once said. Oh no, he, ooh, he needs to not air dodge here. These are getting, both players playing very reserved right now. Mm -hmm. Very scary. If I, was, if I was Stu, I would avoid the air, just because that up air is just oh, yeah. so he to, good. He needs to avoid getting thrown up. You're scrub still. Unless Stu can sniff that out with a counter. Yeah. All right, trying to read the roll. Oh, things are getting scary. Let's get into the last hit situation. Oh, neutral B not gonna take it. Press the trump, but gets that at the inappropriate time. Dash attack, not gonna take it. My lord. One more of those, and I think that might be it. Oh, I <laughs> swallowed my words. Back air, not gonna take it. Too much, too much knockback in that jab. Mm. Oh my god, they're literally even in percentages right now. Damn! All right, and Stu's taking it 2-1 over Ignis Fox with that up throw. Yeah. Oh my god. Pop, my pop, heart pop, was pop. racing that yeah. entire set, dude. Pop, Good stuff, Stu. Yeah, pops All right. little in his victory, which, hey, I don't blame him. Good stuff also to Ignis Fox there. Yeah, took it to last hit. Third game. Stu fighting his way into that top eight spot. 